watch his left hand, he's just going to start steering. So let's see the, how one track slows down and the other. Uh -huh. Now he's into a counter rotate to the left. Right. right? And then uh, so he's going to come back to neutral. He's going to go forward again. And all he's doing in there is changing the position of the steering joystick or controller. So now he's doing a counter rotate to the right. Never changes. He doesn't touch anything else. All he's doing is adjusting the position of the steering lever right now. No gear change, no clutch, no brake. He's just moving that steering through the different positions. And that's when we say infinite speed control and steering, that's what you get. So when we talk about power management, again, in a turn, we don't, we don't have a differential in this thing. So there are no, there is no transmission or rear axle. It's just motor, right? So the ability to, to turn this thing and have one track speed up with respect to the other to make that nice turn, that's what, that's what we have in our power management. Now he's gonna do a ripping pass here. Now watch, see, that the tractor slows down right based on the load it's given. He didn't change gear, he didn't do anything, he just, he just gave it some work, right? And so as, as, as that ripper will come up out of the ground, and you'll see the tractor will go up in speed, right? So this is what we call slot trenching, typical application for a dozer. And again, never touches the gear, shift, right? The load dictates the speed of the tractor. All he wants to do is keep the track moving. all adjusted. So he's just keeping, he's, up, he's not letting the track slip, he's keeping the tractor moving, he's maintaining a full load on the blade. That's exactly what you want to do. Sometimes he'll use that D-cell in going into that position there to kind of slow the speed of the tractor without changing gears, and that's just at that transition point. So the D-cell pedal is really handy, especially for me, at a transition either into a cut or out of a cut, over the top. Now let's say your operator was working that slope and inadvertently turns and knocks that tractor from drive or reverse into neutral, right? What he's gonna do there, it just went to neutral, he takes his foot off, that's our heel hold feature. But see how that side draft pulls the tractor to the right? Mm -hmm. All right, so the, the counter rotate capability while you're in drive, allows you to offset that draft. So when that tractor starts pulling to the right, watch him, he'll just take that and pull it back to the left with a counter rotate feature. And that helps him keep a straight line. See how it's pulling him? Mm -hmm. Now he'll, he'll off, see that? There's your counter rotate. And that helps him maintain a straight line when he's pioneering that road on slope. Uh, if you don't have that capability, you've got to back all the way back out and, and go in it again. And so it's it's uh, more time, less productivity, you know, if you don't have that feature. And then uh, the ability to power turn, so he's got a full load. You see how he can turn that? He's not doing anything except steering the tractor. That's all he's doing. With the, the power management, adjust that power from, from side to side. A lot of times, if you get into a, a, a heavy pull on a side draft like that, the outside track will spin because the inside track's pinned down. Mm -hmm. So when you try to, to counter rotate that, our power management levels that power out side to side. 